In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a photo into D2L. Now, if you are an instructor, you're going to be able to use this process to add a photo into a news item or instruction directions or into an HTML page. If you're a student, you're, you can use this process to add a picture into a discussion board or sometimes into a quiz answer or a Dropbox response. Basically, anywhere that you see a box that looks like this, this is called the HTML editor window, or you can think of it as the text box editor, any place that you see that, you can include a picture and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. The first thing you want to make sure is that you have a photo that you want to add saved onto whatever device you're using to upload the picture. So right now I'm on my desktop computer and I need to make sure that I have a photo saved onto that computer. If you're posting from your laptop, same thing. If you're posting on your phone, same thing. Any Wherever you're posting from, you need to have the image you're posting saved to that computer. It's not gonna work if you just try to pull it off of Facebook or if you try to pull it off of a website. You have to have the file and the photo actually saved onto your computer. If you know that you have that, then you click on this second button that looks like a little picture and that's going to open up a pop-up menu for adding in a file. More than likely, you're going to have this file saved to your computer. If you have your computer open in a window, you can drag that file in, or you can click this Upload button. And then I need to go find my picture, find it on my computer. We're going to add in the smallest headshot. I will give you a tip that you want to add probably small pictures if you can. You don't need to add huge files because they're just going to take up a lot of room. So once you've selected the photo from your computer or your device that you want to add, then you click the Add button. Alternative text is important if you happen to have people in your class who are using screen readers. Um, and if they're visually impaired, we want to make sure we have alternative text in there. I'm just going to write photo of me. And now you can see I've added my picture into my course. Now, let's say you had a picture that was really large and it's gonna take up this whole screen and you need to make it a little bit smaller. What you do to do that is you just click on the picture and you'll notice it highlights it and I get these little white boxes in the corners. From those little white boxes, I can resize the picture to any size I want. And you probably wanna make it smaller, particularly if you're adding it into a discussion board. You don't want it to take up a ton of room on the discussion board. So just make that picture a little bit smaller, whatever size you want. Finish typing what you're typing, and then you publish or you post or whatever you need to do for the thing you're trying to complete. But that is the process of adding a picture. You click on the Add Image button, select the picture off of your device, and add it into the text that you're adding.